name is Becca, and today I'm going to be reading you a book about a raindrop. And just so you know, my kids are reading sight words, and one of the things that they have to do when they're reading their sight words is to roar. So if you see hear lions in the background, I am not in any immediate danger. It's just that I have a bunch of kids at home reading sight words. So excuse the noise. <laughs> This book is called A Drop Around the World. Nestled in a cloud near Maine, a little droplet longs to rain. Though not yet big enough to fall, it waits with others still too small. Then a venture starts to blow on wings of wind. It's off they go. Sailing in an ocean cloud, moisture feeds the droplet crowd. The journey leads to southern Spain. Drop has grown. It's time to rain. It falls on the cape of a matador who fights a charging bull once more. But luckily, when red is waved, drop is shaken, often saved. It quickly sizzles in the heat, evaporating in retreat. So on this page, you got to see the whole water cycle. The water was in the clouds. And it was a, um, it was in the clouds, it condensed, it turned into a water droplet where it came out from the sky and onto earth called a precipitation. And then it was reheated again, it sizzled in the heat and it evaporated into the sky. So that was the process of the water cycle. Let's see how many times this water goes through the water cycle. Then off to Switzerland it flies, mountain climbing winter skies. The vapor freezes in midair and magically a snow flakes there. Alpine peaks all powdered white invite the snow to spend the night. This delicate and airy flake drifts down on a frozen lake. So precipitation again, it turned into a snowflake. One April day it melts away, meandering in its way toward May. Icy nights refreeze the drop, its solid state commands a stop. But warmer mornings let it flow, stop and go, stop and go. Finally, our drop of rain roars a river's glad refrain. Free and liquid, flowing fast, free and liquid, loose at last. On this book, on this page, they're talking about how water can go from a solid to a liquid when the, when the temperature's cold or when the temperature is warm. So solid molecules of water are very tight together and they don't move a whole lot. When water turns to a liquid, they have a little bit of flowing space where they're able to move. Suddenly the rhythms break, drops clump into a man-made lake. A reservoir outside Lucerne gives drops a brand new job to learn pumped and filtered purified the health inspector is satisfied ground underground in a maze of pipe raindrops now the drinking type it stops at a spigot meets the dead end what's beyond around the bend when the knob is turned the secrets out clean water drop pours out the spout Drop runs into a trough head first where a cow laps up to quench her thirst. Raindrop races through the cow to glands that milkify somehow. Mixed up in a pail of milk, it's poured in a glass as smooth as silk, but slips from Heidi's little hands and forms a puddle where she stands. Puddle drop is warmed away like helium moon balloon at play. Its milkiness is left behind, vapor pure, it's been refined. So water, milk still has water in it. And so that's what happened. The raindrop that we previously saw turned into milk, but it was still water. And when the water heated up, it turned into water vapor and left the milkiness on the ground. And that's why when milk you know, it stick, stays somewhere for a while. It has this like white film because the water left the milk, but the milkiness part stayed. Sunlight lifts it oh so high to cirrus clouds that fly the sky. Speeding south to desert land, Sahara waits with thirsty sand. 
Sand dunes fold their hands in prayer, pleading for some moisture air. But like a tease, our drop blows by. Nope, not a cloud stops by to cry. So that means that there was no rain happening in the desert. As vapor adrift a lazy pace, drop finds itself in a jungly place. Water, water everywhere. Rainforests have such humid air. The air is warm above the pools, but over land it quickly cools. This sudden change from warm to cool turns drop to fog. It's nature's rule. Camouflaged by ghostly sky, it collides with a monkey swinging by. Drop gets a lift on a curly tail to swinging hole on the jungle trail. Gravity pulls at the drop. Over the falls, it cannot stop. Lost in a mist of colored spray, that drop is off without delay. What did the what did the raindrop get itself in the middle of? That's right, it turned into a rainbow because the sun shone through the light or thrown through shone through the raindrop and it turned into a rainbow. Overseas, our drop is sped on electric flight on a thunderhead. Monsoon winds for for warn Mumbai, the raindrop army storms July. Driven down by wind with force, a raindrop has no choice, but of course, it floods a gutter, gutter then the street, pushing people off their feet. It swipes a bike and swamps a car en route to an open air bazaar, where it topples a, topples a mango cart and vandalizes Asian art. Flooding drop flo flows back to sea, but in its wake leaves tragedy. So sometimes rain can really do damage onto a community. And in, in this situation, it was a monsoon and homes were destroyed and other things like that. Drop takes a dive like a submarine, an environmental life machine. It's needed by the fish below to fill their gills to swim to grow. Hypnotized by the rolling motion, it's lured down deeper in the ocean, weight is heavy on his shoulder, squeezed in darkness, drop is colder. The deeper you go into the ocean, the colder the water is because it's further away from the sunlight. Drop surfs a wave to, to a coral reef, reflecting color beyond belief. There it gently laps in sand, rocking back and forth to the land. Australian children come to play by the water's edge this sunny day. They build a tower, sail a boat, sea drop fills their castle moat. Wow, this raindrop is really getting around the world. Shallow water warms up quick, drop does the disappearing trick. Swinging on a breeze trapeze, it's off to meet the Japanese. In stratus style, without a doubt, drop Drop will burst its cloud and tumble out. Drenching drop makes a gushy dirt. It's perfect mud pie for dessert. On a mission sinking deep through the cracks, it tries to seep, passing worms and bugs that creep and animals curled up asleep. Avoiding stones and bones that block, it passes through some porous rock. How far do down? It's hard to tell. Drop runs into a farmer's well. There it waits till it's hoisted up by bucket into a drinking cup. That swallow drop has is lost within, yet finds an exit through the skin. How does it exit through the skin? How does water come out of your skin? Through sweat, that's right. As beads of sweat on a farmer's nose, it drips off to the tip of his working clothes. Joined by soap and water team, drop hangs on a line and turns to steam. So that sweat sticks in your clothes and then it's cleaned out and then that water evaporates into the sky and that's how your clothes dry. Drop looks east to greet the west. Pacific winds do all the rest. Circling, cycling, drop is dizzy. Changing weather keeps it busy. Cumulus without a care, where will it go? It knows not where. North winds quickly claim the cloud. No dilly-dallying around. Falling temperatures cause a change. Freezing drops start feeling strange. It flaunts a fancy frosty face and wears a coat of crystal lace. What do you think it turned into? That's right, ice. It whirls and swirls in Arctic air and hibernates with a polar bear. 
Then, much to our playful flakes' delight, two tiny cubs are born one night. Together, the snowflakes keep them warm, a baby blanket in a storm. Frozen lands wait long for spring, as last it comes a wondrous thing. Melting snow and da sunny days, dressed tundra in a brilliant blaze. Seeping in the thawing earth, drop finds a seed and gives it birth. When the buttercup is blooming bright, Jop exhales, exhales in a vapor flight. So the buttercup is blooming and the water is released again through the heat of evaporation. Next, it rides the jet stream express a thousand miles more or less to downpour over Yellowstone, which makes the tourists moan and groan. But each drop's needed to make things grow. Since the water's table's running low, Drop dissolves ingredients like minerals and nutrients. Sucked up by the roots of an aspen tree, it makes a fast food delivery. It saves a life and brings relief and escapes through a hole beneath the leaf. Evaporated once again, will it return? It knows not when. Condensing on a speck of dust, Drop heads home in a mighty gust. New England weather brings surprises, water there's in all disguises, but cruising to the coast today, drop brings rain to Cape Cod Bay. The sun peeks out through a patch of blue before the passing showers through. Raindrops bend each ray of sun like little prisms having fun. They paint the sky with colors bright, a miracle of hope and light. Our drop makes a wish from the rainbow aglow, a hope for the future of mankind below. Let the children take care of the water on earth, conserve it, protect it, and value its worth. And that is the end. So I actually lost count of how many times the water went through the water cycle. How many times did the water go from a cloud to precipitation, whether that was rain or snow, and then it traveled through the earth, whether through the rivers or going soaking into the land and coming back out again. And then how many times did it evaporate? I would love for you guys to go back and watch this video again and count the times that the water went through the water cycle. Let me know and comment down below on our um, class story. Can't wait to hear about it. Bye.